In the last video, we had this situation where we look at histograms of equal width, a bars of equal width, and I drew out this frequency table. If the bars are now of unequal width, so if I changed this to 20 to 40, what I would now have is a situation, if I just went off and drew this, okay, so I'd still have uh, 10, 20, 30, and I'd still be going from 0, 10, 20, there's 30, and now I need to go up to 40, don't I? Okay, so that's 20 to 40. So if I've got 10, 0 to 10 is 10, 10 to 20 is 20, and now 20 to 40 is at 30. Okay, now the problem is, okay, the real problem here is that this would not be a good way of representing this data because it doesn't look right. The reason why it doesn't look right is because this big block that I have here is actually, when it comes down to it, well, I mean, it's three times the size of that one. Okay, so if this is three times the size, then surely this is worth three times as many as that one. But when it comes down to it, this one is only representing 20, and this whole thing is only representing 30, when really it should represent 60, because it's three times as large. So this isn't the way that we represent histograms with bars of unequal width. Okay? We can't use that method. So we've got to come up with some way so that the bars have um, area that is proportional. The bars need to be proportionally large. So that means that we've got to have something else on our y-axis. We can't have frequency anymore. So that's why we look at frequency density. Effectively, it's telling you how dense the frequency is. Okay, that's a, a literal translation of it. Now, how do you calculate it? Well, frequency density is calculated by finding the frequency and then dividing that by the width of the group. OK, so we take the frequency, which in this case is 10, and divide it by the width of the group, which is 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. This one is 20 divided by 10, and so that's 2. This one is 30 divided by 20. The width of the group is 20, so 30 divided by 20 is 1.5. So now, if I draw my histogram, up the left-hand side is the frequency density. And I'm going to have 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2. Along the bottom, I'm still going from 0 to 40, so 0, 10, 20, 20. 30, 40. So with my frequency density of 1 for 0 to 10, so 1. From 10 to 20, it's at 2. And from 20 to 40, it's at 1.5. OK. So now what you can see is that this bar to this bar proportionally wise, it looks appropriate. The fact that that is 20 and that is 30. OK, it's a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. OK, so what you'll find is actually that the area is equal to the frequency. 
this comes up again with normal distribution. So here you've got a width of 10 times by 1, and so the area equals 10. Here you've got a width of 10 and a height of 2, so area is 10 times 2, so 20. And here the area is 20 times 1.5, which makes the 30. And this gives you the frequencies, 10, 20, 30. Okay? And that is how we draw a histogram of where the bars are of unequal width.